Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hope that you have had a very relaxing weekend and that you are prepared for a fantastic week. And I find that even when in my life things are a little rough or they just, I feel a little uneasy or my mind is a little uneasy, things aren't going right, all of the above, I still can decide it's going to be okay. It might not be okay in this moment, but it will be okay. So that is just your friendly reminder that you can do hard things and that I believe in you and you got this. So it's going to be a great week. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Sarah from Polished Pinkies and I am going to be sharing a lot of customer favorites. So I always pull my favorites and I feel like I talk about a lot of the same things because that is just how you know, it's kind of ingrained in me. That's what I've used for so many years. And so I feel like I'm always saying the same thing. So this time I decided to ask our warehouse manager, Sheridan, what have been the most popular products that customers are loving? What are people buying? What are they needing so that I can help you maybe fill in the gap of what you might be needing in your salon? So there is a lot of prep tools. There is a lot of base coats. So anyway, I'm going to get to it because this is what everybody has been really buying from Polish Pinkies. So first things first, a dust brush. I think a dust brush, either big or small, I pulled the big one. I don't know that the big one is the most popular, but either big or small is a must have if you are doing dry prep on a nail plate. If you have taken one of my e-file classes, then you know that the biggest rule I tell you is never work blind. You don't know what you're taking off and you can over prep a nail if you just keep going and you have no idea. You can't see it's all filled with dust and debris. So a dust brush is key in my opinion. So as we're working with the Polish Pinkies 30K Pro, right? Expert 30K. Polish Pinkies Pro Expert 30K, which I probably shouldn't mention that right now. Uh, they are out of stock, but don't worry. We're working to get them here as quickly as possible and get them back on the website. But when they do come back in stock and you have your Polished Pinkies Expert 30K and you're working, right? We work and then we dust. We work and then we dust and then we work and then we dust. So hanging it from your pinky. So we don't want to have it like this because this is weird and uncomfortable. Some people like it. I shouldn't say it's weird. Some people like it. They like having to hold it, but that puts a lot of pressure on my wrist. I don't let that. So I like to just let it hang just like that. And then I don't really have to worry about it. It's just, I work and then I dust, I work and then I dust. Does that make sense? So some people like a small one. Some people love the big one like me. So whichever you prefer, I think a dust brush is definitely needed in the salon. Be sure to get enough to last you for a full day so that while you have your clean implements and your dirty implements that you have enough to get through all of your clients in a day. Um, that's just a great tip. Next up are prep bits. People have been stocking up on their prep bits. And first one is the Cutie Clean. So the Cutie Clean is a non-abrasive cuticle remover. So if you are doing a men's manicure or if you are doing a child's manicure and you aren't applying product, or even if you are doing a manicure that you are going to apply product to, this is simply going to remove just the dead tissue from the nail plate. It does not have any abrasive on it, so it's not going to remove nail plate. So you can't, you, I guess you could. I can't say you can't damage the nail plate, but if you are just going through and nothing else is coming off, you're done. There's nothing else to remove on the nail plate, just the cuticle. It's actually very satisfying, very fun to do. So this is called the Cutie Clean. And you would use that in forward. Um, I would probably say maybe eight to 12,000 because you're just going through and just removing the dead tissue. Now, when we're working with diamond bits, we work at a much lower speed, at least I do. The popular bits currently are ball bits. So everybody is loving the medium and the large ball bit. And what these are used for is to remove dead tissue that you have prepared at the eponychium area. So it's 
Very, very good for exfoliating the skin. These are never to be used on a nail plate. These will cause rings of fire before you can say the word ring of fire. You've already damaged and dug into the nail plate. So this is not for prepping a nail plate. This is for prepping skin. Then we have the Flame 18 has been very popular. And the Flame 18 is a fantastic bit, but I do want everybody to know that we are working hard to restock all of our bits. So currently we have the Flame 18 in stock and it is an ideal bit for cleaning out underneath of the epinicium as well as the underside of the epinicium because we wanna prep both. So it's fantastic. It just sits flush against that nail plate. Uh, make sure that you are using it at the right angle. We never use the point. The point is meant to lift and go under that epinicium area. So it's a fantastic bit, the Flame 18. And then the last one is the skin finisher. And this is meant for at the end of your service when you've applied your oil, kind of rub that in. And then you go through and you can just exfoliate all of the dead tissue around the nail. If this gets to the enhancement, it will scratch it, which is not ideal at the end of your service because now you've applied oil and to remove all of that oil to allow a new top coat to be applied is actually kind of difficult. So as you're going through with your skin finisher, just make sure you're staying away from the enhancement and then you can just exfoliate all of the dead tissue that is around the nail plate. This is an excellent bit, especially I find in the winter time, you just run it right here, just ever so gently. Um, and it's gonna help push that oil down into those overgrown hypenicheums like mine. So those are the bits everybody is loving currently. Next up would be, we'll stick with tools. Okay, next up would be the nippers. So the five mils is always the most popular. This is a Smart 30. Uh, I do not have all of them here to show you the differences. So I'm going to try to explain to you the differences between all of the different nippers. Not all, the ones that are on the top of my mind. So the Smart 30 have this spring right here. So it fits nicely and without any work or effort, it just opens back up into my hand. So it comes in a three mil, which is just a, it's a quarter jaw, so it's very short, the cutting area. Then it has a four mil, then a five mil, and then a seven mil. Seven mil is not that big. Seven mil is a general size. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that was exaggerative. So anyway, the most popular is the five mil. That is just the half jaw. It is the most common size. Um, then you would go to, there's the Smart 31, and that one has an H right here. I guess it's some people call it a Q or an H, and I'm not really sure why that is called that, but it's a little um, clasp right here, sits in the middle right here, and that is the open and close. And then if you chose the Smart 10, those ones are more narrow. So if you have a smaller hand and these are too big for your hand grip and it's too cumbersome, go with the Smart 10. The jaw size is the same for all of them. There's a three. Generally a three, a five, and a seven. Some of them we do offer the four if Stalex um, provides that to us. Love a good nipper. Those are fantastic. And at the price, I feel like for me, I wouldn't get them sharpened because it would cost me more than just buying a brand new pair of nippers. So I buy enough to have clean nippers for every single client in my day. And then I make sure to try my very best not to drop them on the floor because that's the last thing you want to do. If you bend the tip of these, gosh, that's a bad day, uh, a bad moment. So make sure not to drop them, take really good care of them and they will last you. Don't let them sit in your barber side all forever and ever. Uh, if you forget about them once, that's fine, but really stick to your 10 minutes. That way they don't dull because barber side does and can dull your implements. So make sure you're not leaving them in repeatedly over and over for long amounts of time. I say that because sometimes I leave my implements in for way longer than 10 minutes. So we're all together in this nail tech to nail tech. I get you, but do your very best not to let them if you want to ensure the longevity of your tools. There you go. Next up, these are two of my favorites. Uh, and I hope that they'll be your favorites. I actually Sheridan brought them over from the warehouse and was like, we need to give these a try. You all know my deep love of the Accents Pusher. It is 
near and dear to my heart. I love it. It has been a favorite for years and years and years, but it might be taking a back seat for just a moment. So Sheridan brought over the Stalex pushers and I gave them a try. I was like, all right, might as well give them a try. The Smart 56, so it's Smart 50 and then the number six. So it's the type 50 and then the number six. This one is small right here. It's very narrow. And when I hold it in my hand, it's like a thin pencil. So if you are somebody who wants a thinner tool, a thinner implement, this is going to work really well. But what I liked about it is that this fits so nicely into one of my clients has very small, narrow nail beds, and this fits so nicely in there. I didn't have to work the accents one in there and kind of like maneuver to get it to fit. Instead, this one fit perfectly. So I super duper like, I won't put love yet, but I super duper like this pusher from Stalex. Excellent. The next one is the orange wood, orange wood stick replacement. I have a deep love for orange wood sticks. I can't quite get the, get away from them. They are like my everything. So I use them to get product out. I use them to stir things. I use them to clean things. I use them to remove the, the glitter at the back of the nail. An orange wood stick is like a multi-purpose tool. It's like the most used tool, I think, when I'm sitting at the nail desk. But this guy right here, it's pretty great. It's pretty great. So this end is shaped like an orange wood stick. And then this end has the scraper. Now this is a right-handed tool. But when we are working here, it really does a nice job of lifting that eponychium without digging underneath of it. So if you feel like, hmm, there's always a wall on this client's nails, or maybe I'm, I feel like I'm going so deep underneath of there because it's too open, right? Then this is going to just go through and you just kind of use it sideways, just like this. See that? You will use it sideways and you kind of just really, I'm going underneath and I'm kind of like lifting it up, lifting it out of the way. And it was a beautiful tool to use. I really, really loved it. So these are available here at Polish Pinkies Pro. Such great tools. Okay, next up. The Ugly Duckling brushes are on sale through the end of this month. They are 15% off. They're fantastic. And everybody has been grabbing their Detailer 1 and Detailer 2. The Detailer 1 is really little, really, really little. And then the Detailer 2 is only a normal little. <laughs> so itty bitty baby, um, itty bitty baby, see that? And then slightly longer. I wish maybe it's on my forehead where you can see the tips where the bristles are. So the Detailer is itty bitty and then the Detailer 2 is slightly longer. So grab your favorite ugly duckling tool before the end of the month for 15% off. Fantastic. All right, moving on to gels. Everybody is going gaga for the ugly duckling builder base in Fufu. Let me show you the color. Even when we went to the nail tech event on the Smokies, this is the color that sold out. Isn't it beautiful? It's like this. I wouldn't exactly call it mauve because it's, there's not a lot of purple in it but it's just this um, rose toned pink, beautiful, beautiful color. So people I think are giving builder bases in color a try, and this is absolutely a great option. This is the Ugly Duckling Builder Base, and this is in Fufu. We have talked about this before. It's a great product, uh, has excellent adherence to the nail. Beautiful. It is a 60 second cure for those who might be wondering. All right, next up would be Luxio Base, which is a beautiful traditional gel polish manicure base. So it's not, um, it's not going to be a builder base. It's not like the harder gels. This is a traditional soak off. You can let it self level. You can even make it like a really juicy base. Uh, it's beautiful. It can be left behind on the nail. It's all 100% gel. Absolutely gorgeous. And people have been loving it in the color natural which I absolutely love this one. Love, 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 love. This one is a lot like Luxio Blush. 
which if you have heard me say before is like underwear for your nails luxio blush is bomb.com so this is the base coat in that color so this can be your base and builder gel because it is 100 percent gel it can be applied to the nail it can be floated onto the nail it can correct shape all of that uh, but remember, this has a lot of flexibility. This is just a traditional gel polish base coat. So it doesn't have, if your client needs strength, probably not their best option to just use Luxio base on its own. You'll need to pair it with something else. Moving on to the something else, we have x -Bond. This has been wildly popular and it's been paired with our beautiful favorite, always favorite Luxio build. So X-Bond is a watery base coat. This one needs to be super, super thin. Um, you can, I have before, you can float it like Luxio base. It's just that if you're not fast enough, and I mean super fast, uh, it will run and it will be a nightmare and you'll be mad. So it's better to just apply this one in a thin layer. Cure for 30 seconds. It's an excellent bonding gel but it's not necessarily meant to be like that juicy, gorgeous Luxio base that we love. However, Luxio Build pairs perfectly with it. And Luxio Build is this gorgeous, thick, and you can see it's self-leveling, it's trying to. It's trying to pull itself back up. Um, so it heals really quickly, you can see that. Gorgeous, such a beautiful product. This is a builder gel. Uh, it is a flexible builder gel and it does need a bonder. So that's why it pairs so perfectly with x -Bond. It can be used to fix corners. It's not ideal for sculpting. It's not a hard gel, but it is a rubbery, flexible builder gel. And I do have a deep love for it. Fantastic product. Moving on to another base product. So you can see like customers are really getting the tools and the implements and the base coats are really stocking up on the necessities, which I think is really smart, especially during this time um, when your clients might not be going for the extras. They might not be going for the glitters and the, you know, the crazy colors and things like that because maybe they can't afford it right now due to our economic status in this country. So it's smart that people are getting their bases and all of their tools because that is what they're gonna need long-term right now. So next up is Trinity Clear. Such a great product. I'm gonna open it. It is a thin viscosity. It does have a heat spike, but it is a hard gel. And this is fantastic. It is a three-in-one. So what does that mean? It means it has bonder, then you can build with it, and it has gloss. So this is a great investment because even though you could pair it with X-Bond, you could pair it with Luxio Base as your bonder, or this could be the bonder. You have options here. Then you can build out, you can sculpt, you can use it as an overlay, you could use it as a gel polish manicure base. You can use it however you need. Or if at the end of your manicure, your client is like, oh, hey, did I tell you that I'm a hairdresser? And you're like, no, but that's good to know. Then you could use this as your hard gel top coat. Or you could use, of course, Ultra Gloss, which is the traditional hard gel top coat. And that is going to be your stain proof top coat. So Trinity, such a great, great product. It does come in colors. I don't have the colors here with me. Uh, there is a cool tone, that would be SC1. There is a neutral tone, SN1. And then there is a warm tone, SW1. So you, do, you can see all of that on the website or here inside of the app but Trinity is an excellent hard gel option. Gorgeous. And then last but not least, everybody has been stocking up on the ultimate, the most favorite, Shine On. Can't go wrong with Shine On. This is award-winning so many, 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 many times for a reason. This is such a gorgeous top coat. It does have UV inhibitors, which means that your pastels are gonna stay pastel. Your whites are gonna stay bright white. Your darks will stay their nice color. Uh, they won't change colors in the sun, um, or at least not as quickly. Some colors are just prone to change colors because the pigments that are being used are UV sensitive. So this is going to prohibit that as much as possible because it has UV inhibitors. 
This is a self-leveling top coat. So if you have nail art and you don't want your clients to be able to feel the nail art, then you can just put on a little bit extra, float on a little extra, flip that client's hand over and let it self-level over the nail art. Make sure that your line of light is good and then go into the light. So it really is a fantastic all around. It's the ultimate. I love, love, love accent shine on. Always have, always will. So that rounds out all of the things that people have been stocking up on, buying extra of, and making sure that they have in their toolkit. Um, as always, you can message us with any questions. We're happy to help. And until next time, I think next week we are going to be inside of Instagram. So be sure to join us next week at 11 o'clock Mountain Time. And until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye.